What's going on, everybody? It's Trib from Trib Talks here. And what you are about to feast your listening ears on is an iconic moment in Trib Talks history for 20 straight episodes, almost 20 straight weeks. There's only a couple of weeks where we took some breaks, but this is the 20th episode of the crew cast and everybody that has tuned in thank you for listening because you are now a part of history and the history will just keep growing and who better to have in the building for the third the 20th crew cast almost did that whole thing without fucking up but we got larry fitzgerald in the building with club fits hey what's going on fucking a dude just got done recording picks Yep. And we really did Colge dirty on that last one. Colge is also in the building. Colge, that was it was a whole it was a whole scandal. You know, people want to hear. Yeah. What so you, what uh, you got? What you got to say? And uh, how you feel after so, that? So uh, it's hard because uh, you know I mi- I miss a picks one one picks. I know I missed a couple other, but I missed one week, and just everyone acts like you know that I'm out of the building. Like my my traditions don't matter like in like it just doesn't matter anymore and that hurts my feelings you see and that's why i wanted to address it on the podcast because i I knew i knew you weren't going to take politely to that and and my honest answer to you is exactly what i said i'm sorry on the podcast was i thought you were fixing your nuts dude yeah okay so we do it right before we even start talking about the Sunday night game. I, I do my, my Sunday night intro. This jingle. My, my jingle. That's what I would call Should it Should be also. everybody's ringtone. Should be everyone's, you know, yeah. Facebook Messenger thing. But, the uh, 1,100 and... Yeah, and then uh, Treve just uh, goes and throws it, starts talking about the 49ers. I'm up, and I'm just, like, looking at him, my jaws to the floor. Yeah. And I'm like, really, really Treve? Yeah. Like, it just kind of hurts. That I'm gone one week and everyone just forgets about me. Yeah, I didn't forget Colt. Uh, d- yeah, you did because because <laughs> I looked at you right after it and you go, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> you were just you're just as confused as I was. It was it was. I know it's going to be a huge a huge topic of discussion amongst everybody. It's a setback for our friendship for sure. I, see, and that's what the people want to hear. <laughs> I want to box you. It's going to be like Logan Paul versus that one guy. You want to box me? Yeah, we'll try. We, yeah, but I feel like we can do, we they, can do they, that they after uh, me and Christopher Columbus do our MMA fight. I cannot or grappling, that, whatever dude. we do. I cannot wait for that. Dude, I feel like if you guys do that, I feel like my dad is definitely going to want to brawl with somebody. <laughs> so it's on. We're, Every gonna, time your dad gonna, gets drunk, he wants to fight. I feel like we're going to brawl with somebody. And I kind of want to see like Trey throw some old... <laughs> Chain bankers like he used to do. You want Trey to fight, fight your dad? No. Because my <laughs> that, dad would probably that'd kill be a, him. <laughs> that'd be a rap. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be a but, rap. But no, I'd love to see Trey fight somebody else because I love his. I used to love his old clobber fist, man. He Dude. Never throw a straight punch at you, but they're haymakers. Trey's they the last them. motherfucker you want to yeah. fuck with, dude. I'm telling you. Me That's and him fair. Me and him were really bad in the WWE back in the day. And we would just beat the shit out of each <laughs> other, dude. Like, I'm talking, like, you see these swanton bombs and these choke slams. We were doing legitimate swanton bombs and choke slams off on the stairs the, yeah. onto, onto concrete. Onto concrete. <laughs> yeah, dude. And we had a replica WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and I would never let him win. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds a lot like my house. This is how it's, we used it's to It's how do, you grow up. This is how we grew up, too, in my house. We had triple bunk beds in my room, and... <laughs> Literally, my uncle. I wish I could have seen that. My man. uncle, oh, dude, my yeah. uncle you built him. Mark. My uncle built him, and uh, we had Wyatt Garrett and me in there. Oh. And it was just always, you know, hell. Were you on top because, bunk? Yeah, I was always top bunk, and <laughs> and I would I'd wake up every morning because mom would come in there. And I'd hit, I'd wake up and I'd hit my head on the ceiling. <laughs> because she got how, a big head. No, <laughs> no, because of just how high it was up off the ground. And so, yeah, it was it was crazy in there. I'm telling you right now, me and Trey have had so many last man standing matches and so <laughs> many freaking I quit matches. Dude, I had to quit one time. The only time Trey beat me for the World Heavyweight Championship was in an I quit match, and it was during Friday Night SmackDown. I think the main event Remember was a tag our... team match or somebody was going one-on-one with The Undertaker. 
Remember no, our extreme that's... rules match we had trained? Uh, we'll, we'll dive into that in a little <laughs> later. But, I mean, professional wrestling at its core is just what a bunch of young boys do. And they end oh, yeah. up, and, they, and their parents get pissed. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you this. Oh, is this a mic? Dude, yeah, it's a mic. I freaking... We'll get into that later, too. That's, <laughs> okay. That's, 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 that later. It's, been, it's been a good freaking... It's a good pickup right there. It is. But, um... Anyway, so me and Trey were facing each other in an I Quit match for the World Championship. And the World Championship was literally, like, bitten off because I had a dog and she'd just eat that shit up. And Which then one? Honey Dog, honey dude. Dog, honey would, yeah. Honey would eat that shit up. And then, so... Trey just gets mad because I, I punched him in the forehead, <laughs> and, and that and that just did not sit well with him. <laughs> so 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 he like spear tackles me right, and, and and this this guy literally put one hand on the back of my head and then like one hand on on my fucking leg and was just dropping knees <laughs> like in my rib cage, dude. Like I'm talking like like he he put his whole body weight on my legs and my head. He swung up, just dropped his knees, and oh. dude, he was. Me and me in the calves. I had a Charlie horse, my first ever <laughs> one, literally from getting kneed in the calves, bro. And I quit. I was, <laughs> was it too hard? It was too, too much. much to tan. I told. I, I it was so funny. It was so funny too because I would, I would beat the shit out of him all the time. And like, and he like, and and, and 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 he and he took it in stride, right? Like, yeah. Trey, Trey never told on me nothing. He didn't cry. Dude, <laughs> I went, I went right to my mom after that. I was, I was so fucking pissed. But probably the most bullshit professional wrestling match I was ever a part of was the Extreme Rules match against Fitz. <laughs> now we we. And fucking Fitz should just have his own backyard wrestling federation. I mean, his whole backyard is like perfect. It's huge. It's it's perfect for any backyard yeah. wrestling. There's man, you cars, put there's... and if you wanted to do like a trampoline spot onto a table or something, you could do it. Yeah, <laughs> you're going through tables. You're jumping off ladders. You're jumping off freaking 1970 Thunderbirds. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're, you're, you're doing you're doing everything. Old in that love lot. shacks. Yeah, Old dude. Love shacks. Scooby Doo mystery machine. You like know. you were just. You're just going You're getting off it. the whole yep. time. So, you know, obviously, freaking the KWF, the Kids Wrestling oh, yeah. Federation, me and the whole neighborhood, including Fitz, yep. got together, we started did. a wrestling federation. This was back BC before oh, Cole. That's BC, BA, B yeah. anybody. Yeah. BB, before Barnage. Yeah, way, way <laughs> before B, Barnage, B, yeah. BG, before BBW. Grandma. <laughs> dude yeah it was crazy because like i mean you you grew up in that area and it was me it was fits it was you guys Wyatt. ran the streets huh? dude, yeah and it was two Wyatt, other kids Wyatt, trey it was two, two other kids kids. trey and a couple of other kids yeah. that like one kid really just wanted to be a referee he <laughs> was that guy. He, and then he, the one kid that took a spot and chat on the trampoline. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've heard this story. See, see, away. actually, I say I say that extreme rules match is probably the the worst, and we'll get into that story. But yeah. I think the worst injury I ever took <laughs> was when I was in a triple threat match <laughs> for the KWF <laughs> World Wrestling <laughs> Federation Championship. And this other homeboy, he was always competing for the U.S. Championship against my brother mm-hmm. for for context. Never won. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trey was the, Trey was the forever United States oh, champion. Okay. <laughs> what were you guys going for? We, Universal we, champion. We we never no, let him no. carry the whole like the the big titles. Yeah, know? but Trey was always the spine ba- spine oh, buster dude. machine. Had the perfect spine raw, busters. Raw spine buster. <laughs> yeah. Is that why his PS said his tray is raw? Yeah, dude, because it was straight raw. It was crazy. Like and like everybody would sell for him too. Like like if, if the spot was like a spine buster, we'd freaking spread our legs as far <laughs> as we can, dude. And we would hit the trampoline, dude. And it was just a, and it wasn't even his finisher. It was like a sig. <laughs> it's like, just yeah. a sig. Yeah, it's, it's just like it, like his finisher wasn't fired up all the way, but you had like two signatures saved up, bro. You, you're hitting back to back spine busters. <laughs> That's right. Dude. And I I. <laughs> Dude, I actually took some L's to Trey just off some spine <laughs> busters, dude. Dude, Pure you, spine you busters. did the job for Trey though. Yeah. <laughs> you did the job. Yeah, I did. But but I mean, this kid, this kid lost to Trey on many of pay per views. Oh yeah. On many on many of. Was this when you got WrestleManias? Yeah, exactly. So I was in I was in the backyard wrestling arena. It was at Laryl's house. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and it's a freaking six. 
I think it was a triple threat. It was like a triple threat match for the championship. Jeez. <laughs> so and the you kid... guys even make this kind of shit up? Because we watched a lot of wrestling. You guys just wanted to fuck each other <laughs> yeah. up. It we, was wrestling, man. We just watched a lot of wrestling. It was wrestling. <laughs> and then we and then we get we get out there, right? And this kid that that does this isn't even isn't even in the match. He's interfering. He's a manager. No. I'm on, I'm on the ground. This kid comes in with a nine iron or a putter. I don't. Yeah, it, was, it was a golf club. Definitely, a, definitely a nine iron. It was a putter. It was a putter. It was a putter. This kid just drops this putter <laughs> so swings at me in the face and busts me wide open, dude. The hard way. Like I'm talking like this isn't a fake blood. Like he got this putter <laughs> and he chipped it in from twenty feet, bro. Well, like I I'm mean, telling you. He well, fucking he, like, swung. dropped it. He dropped it on you. Yeah. yeah. It, it was not and fair. He didn't care. Nah dude, I was screaming. I was like, You're oh, like, Kelly! Oh dude, they were throwing up the X, you know what I mean? Like, they were making sure it was serious. Kelly was in there like, oh, we might need stitches. And Brick's just like, that's an early cut, bro. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all right. Though. It'll be all right. And freaking, we couldn't finish the match. We've had some moments, yeah. Oh. And then in our ex- Extreme oh, Rules man. match, we it were, didn't even go that far. Because it was nominated for a Slammy for Feud of the Year 2008. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. For the Spinner United States Championship. But, you know, yeah, it was for the Spinner. You know? Dude, and I it was badass. The, I love the Spinner belt. I almost that's guarantee you favorite. I ain't got that anymore. No. Dude. But it was and raw. And that was, yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite belt, the Spinner belt, man. So it was an Extreme Rules match, and, you know, I got a brick, you know. See, the thing was, is me and Bryce didn't like losing. Yeah. The other one of us no. likes losing. Competitive. Come on. Yep, exactly. Especially in. Matches that are supposed to be predetermined, <laughs> but they never were. Oh no, nah, dude! There was this, the, yeah. So there's this other guy named freaking Cyrus. <clears throat> yep. And me and him had a last man standing match, and I broke that kid. <laughs> we, we, we literally we, called his mother, <laughs> and they went to the. Hospital. And he was a big bully too. Like we, he was we, a big boy. We, was he? And he yeah. was a bully too. Like we'd meet up at freaking like orchards. We'd be ready to play football or whatever. Or no, it was that sack still at the time because it wasn't like anything yeah, big. It was it like six big, people. Big. Yeah. Dude, he was so into it. This kid came with the strap everywhere he went. Like he had the championship belt no. hanging on his shoulder when he's coming to play football with us. And I just took that championship right for him, dude. I felt the crowd cheering my name. Oh, yeah. It's one of the most miraculous moments in KWF history. But anyway, one of the most infamous moments is between you and I. Yep. And why don't and, you tell uh, the story? And so this Extreme Rules match is going, we're going for the spinner belt, you know. I love the spinner belt. All time fame? That's probably one of my favorite One of them, dude. I have, like, one of my, one of my freaking uh, pictures as a child. My, my brother has the spinner WWE belt uh, on his shoulder. And yeah. I have the spinner, that spinner US belt, because it was dope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All work. And so I had a brick, because it's an Extreme Rules Like, brick. not his dad, like a literal not, brick? Yeah, not my dad. My, na- my dad's name's... Brick, brick, essentially. He, we call him Brick. His, his, his real name is Walter. He goes by Walt. By normally, normally people know him as Walt. Sometimes, like his. I've never heard anyone. His call coworkers him call him Walt. <laughs> I'd call him Brick. brick. <laughs> but, yeah, but everybody calls him Brick. Yeah. So anyway, I got a real brick, <laughs> and uh, I decided to just huck it. Oh yeah, that tree. And it was snowing outside. Yeah. <laughs> Very important detail. Yeah. Hucking a tree, you know. Right in the fucking face. And it hit him right in the elbow. Right in the funny bone. No. Dude, my... And it was cold and chilly right because I had my mittens on. But I was still throwing hands. (laughs) (laughs) And like... He throws this thing, hits me in the funny bone. You know when you hit in the funny bone, your hand goes like, no. no. Yeah. Dude, Dude, it was cold as hell like, The first thing you yep. want to say is that wasn't so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a dad thing my dad made me start doing. Uh, like, I don't know. Dude, I'd I be, I be like the king of dad jokes these days. Like, anything I make is a dad joke. Like a father to like, children. Like, <laughs> it like, doesn't what, matter. Like, what cracked me up was uh, today freaking cold, cold and fits come in. And they're freaking discussing what they're freaking what they want to watch before like Bay goes to work, and they're like, "Coach, like let's watch Rick and Morty." And I'm like, and "I'm like, why?" And he's like, "Because it's good. <laughs> Probably go right over your head." <laughs> I hated you for that. <laughs> uh, that was a. F- I'm so sorry, but that it, just, I it was to. an opportunity. I had to. That, that was such an opportune time to throw some shade right there. Like I respect you for uh, for taking taking that, that opportunity. Taking, you seized the opportunity. You know, 
That's what I appreciate about you. It's how you've been your whole life. <laughs> Taking opportunities. But, yeah, so, I mean, KWF was crazy. Like, yeah. we, had, we, we, had, we had, like, a whole ticket booth one time. We tried, we tried selling tickets to a show. Yeah. My, my mom didn't let me go. But were you, you weren't competing? No, I was supposed to, but my mom didn't let me out past 8 o'clock. No. Yeah, oh, his, so it was a late his, night rumble kind of thing. Yeah, it was a Saturday night. His mom, no. his mom was very strict. Dude, she wouldn't, he, she wouldn't let me freaking... I couldn't spend the night at Bryce's house until I was like 16 years old. Until <laughs> <laughs> so I was That's like true. a sophomore in high school. Like, freaking all I wanted to do is spend the night. And then, and then she ruined spending the night places for me, really. Because I just I hate it now. Anyway, I well, I don't really care too much now, actually. Like, I mean, I like going out to like the woods and sleeping. Or yeah, like I mean, if I'm going to cold, just cabin. Like, yeah. I, especially if I, if I had that same bed I had last time, because that's like the best bed in the cabin. Home oh, fair, yeah. the yeah. one in my dad's room. Yeah, yep. Home fair, fucking <laughs> comfy pillow, bro. They got everything. We got there. the good chair at the cabin too. That's what, dude. That chair up there. Every time I sit in it, man, I fall asleep. Dead ass. Dude. Could be in the middle of the day, could be late at night. I'll right after that breakfast? Speci- I did it when I was up there on Thursday, right after we had a big breakfast. I took probably a good old 20 minute snoozer in the good chair. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't Before know, the day really gets started. I don't know if this started. is like the same for like you guys, but like breakfast in the woods hits different. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, way different. Well, so just, I usually don't eat breakfast. Yeah, but no, I eat breakfast <laughs> on a decent amount, but it's still way better when it's out in the woods. I don't know it's why just like it to- is, it, but because it it's is. totally like homemade. Like we made some spuds and like yeah, bacon, eggs, pancakes. That's what I'm saying. Frick. It was just dank. Dude, I think my upstairs neighbor is literally going to pound fucking town right now. Dude, do you hear that? That's disgusting. That's what I'm saying. Like, right in the middle of a fucking podcast, bro. I hope you guys can't hear that. The, dude, the, the no. kids will definitely not be able to listen. Dude, I mean, the kids will never be able to listen to the content anyway. <laughs> especially this crew cast. Even though we're giving out, like, great entrepreneurial... Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship advice. Because we literally started our whole ass own wrestling fucking company at, like, age seven. Yeah. Like, we just fucking went out there and did it. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> and that pause was a sponsor by Barnhouse Productions. Barnhouse Productions. The best productions that lives in a barn. We're back from the from the slight break. And uh it was a, it was a much needed break. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Culture, I like the get up you got on right now. You got Snoop Doggy Dog and you got Kiss on top. Oh, dude, I love this Kiss hat. This Kiss hat's older than me, actually. So, like in the 80s? No, my dad went and saw them in, uh, my dad went and saw Kiss concert in 97. And he told me a story. He was working, he was like contracting or doing something. I don't know. But, uh, he went, because they're in town, he lives somewhere in Washington. And, uh, they. The Kiss Kiss was in town, and like him and his boss and his girlfriend and some other people, they all went to the Kiss concert. My dad bought some merch. Oh, of course. We're gonna buy some Kiss merch. This dope ass hat. And I was wearing it during the the last picks. So if, and if you haven't seen that, go rewatch that. That was an amazing picks episode. And uh, yeah, and he was telling me that uh, all of his coworkers and stuff were all passing around a joint. My dad didn't realize, but his boss was right next to him. My dad takes a puff off the joint and hands it to his boss. And his boss just goes, no, thank you. My dad just passes it to someone else, and they never talked about it ever again. Dude, fucking A. Dude, I, I want to go to another concert. It's been, it's been too long since I've gone. To- Molly Crew and Allison Chains is uh, coming back for one final tour. Are they coming to the arena? <laughs> What arena? Spokane. No, they're not, <laughs> not going to the knitting factory. You think? I think the closest place is Oregon or somewhere in uh, yeah, Washington. It's not worth... Molly Crew? Yeah, probably. You know, I'm already booked. I'm going to the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably in like July. Well, I wasn't asking you, Bar or Tree, but. <laughs> that fits. <laughs> Yeah. What? Come so on, dog. Yeah. Cold Is he just not memorable enough for you yeah, to cold. remember his name? Talking about how you're so upset yeah, that we exactly. forgot you to see. Oh, sorry. Me. It's been a while since I've been in the studio. <laughs> Look how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> 
think about yeah, somebody's guess what? feelings on their own. For Bryce real. is in what? a mood today, just so you guys yes, know. Yes, just so the viewers okay. know. <laughs> He's in a mood Yeah, today. and what? I'm not fun to go to concerts to or something? It's... You don't want me to go to the concert with Molly Crew? I didn't yeah. say oh, that. Cool. I didn't say that. We need a picture of Bryce on a shirt, yeah. on a shirt that yeah. with cool. the quotes that says you didn't want to. No, no, you didn't want to take me to Motley Crue. Because when he sings that you don't want to take me to Motley Crue, he's have a shirt with his face on. Says that you don't want to take me to Motley Crue. <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck's your issue? You don't want to take Bryce to fucking Motley Crue. Bryce, I didn't think you were into Motley Crue. You don't know. I don't know. Exactly. I made assumptions. Maybe yeah. he's in the Alice in Chains. Are you? And you know what's you know what you know what <laughs> they're all the bad you, know you know what today has been all based off of everybody Being pissed make, off. Everybody making assumptions. And you know what happens Ask when him. you make assumptions? You make an ass out of you and me. So I'm sorry Let for doing go. that, Bryce. What's the response? No response. I'm sorry. All right. It was a big. Let's move on here. Well, I'm trying to go to a concert, dog. Like I'm. I want to go to like a fucking festival. Like I don't want to go yeah. to like Coachella mm -hmm. or nothing. I want to go to Lollapalooza because freaking Joji and Young Gravy were there. Then obviously a bunch of other big names, but. Dude, I just I'll only go if they're DMX. That's gonna he be might, dude. DMX was at like Rolling Loud like last year. Yeah. Hell yeah, he dude. was. He yeah. was. Yeah. That's dude, what that I'm saying. So you guys cool. just have to. We just gotta make it one of those. Dude, I would be a hell dope ass. Dude, too. DMX is on his way to Lewiston. He has to be. Oh, that to the Ceno. Dude, he has to be. Dude, if Nelly wait. was there, dude, we're just uh, hopping yeah. a skip away from DMX. So I don't know the people in Florida. You guys know who Nelly is. He's he was a 2006. Hoffer. Yeah. <laughs> he was one of those guys that was big back then. He came to our local casino, and uh, I went and watched him. The show lasted like 50 minutes, but like he was really good live. Did he have any openers, or was it just him? It was just him. Damn, dude. That's, I, I, don't, I feel like I couldn't do that. My that's why I was so lit. My thinking about going to see the comedian off of American Idol. She's going to be at the Spokane Center. Oh, the Northern Quest? Yeah. Dude, that'd Mickey be cool. Barbalak from American Idol. Oh, like the old lady? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Word up. Yeah, the trailer I, nasty lady. She's probably better alive because I bet you she had to dumb down her comedy so oh, yeah. hard. Like, and um, she probably can't, I mean, she probably cusses now a little bit, which is probably better. Yeah, dude. I, I love comedy, bro. Just good, dumb good, comedy yeah, for me. Good dude, stuff. It's, it's so weird, like, how diverse Joe Rogan is. Oh, yeah. Dude, like, if you listen to, like, his stand-up specials, you're like, how can a man so smart, like, be saying, like, like, well, like, his comedy is, like, smart and all, but, like, he just says some so dumb funny, shit. So funny, yeah. Dude. Just so funny. He can be dumb, but he can also be, like, the smartest guy you know. I think he's... Dude, so I was thinking about this, and this was almost gonna be my poll of the week this week. On a, should, Joe, work. should Joe Rogan run for president? <laughs> nah, but that'd be pretty dope. But, no, like... If you had to pick somebody to represent the human race to the aliens, who would it be? I'm picking Joe Rogan. I'm going to have to go with Theo Vaughn and say, uh, like, pa uh, Manny Pacquiao. Dude, because he, he's just... I'm going to have to go. Because all, I've, I've only met really nice Filipinos. Yeah, I've never true. met a mean one. I've met mean every other race, you know? It's just the world. I've never met a mean Filipino. I'm going to have to go with... Do it. Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't you fucking say it. What? Don't you, just say it. I already know who it is. I can't remember now. What were we talking about? Who, who? If, if you <laughs> if you had to pick a fucking person to represent the human race, Morgan to, Freeman to the alien. Oh, that's a good one. That's who I him or do. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, dude, I, I thought I thought for sure you were gonna say Larry Fitzgerald. No. <laughs> that, that's a good one too, though, because he's a good human being. Yeah, Larry Fitz. That would be. I Neil deGrasse Tyson because he's like the smartest guy in the but, fucking world. And, and Larry is a good speaker. Yeah, and he does write. So I don't know. I mean, he's he's up there. That's I mean, like bad, in all actuality, bad, there's bad. probably gonna have to be some like a scientist that's really smart. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, like because Barnage was saying one time that if we were to ever talk with aliens. Just think they'd probably more, or 
he said they would probably speak a different language. That's oh, just yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah. And he said the only way we would be able to communicate with them is with math, because math is always right. But I still don't see how that could work. Uh, I, don't but, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess know. they'd understand math. Well, you think if an uh, alien's smart enough to reach alien. Earth and, yeah, they, <laughs> watched, they probably know all languages. I've watched yeah. shows, you know, mm -hmm. like on, like, what they think. Ancient aliens. Yeah, and, like, and stuff, like, where they show up, where they frequently are seen, yeah. is, like, some of the places that are, like, natural historic events, uh -huh. like, places of natural history. Yeah, and, like the uh, and the, Yeah, and there's, like, four, there's, like, seven or eight places that they show up, and a lot of them believe that they're just trying to tell us, like, They've already been here, mm -hmm. and that's what they left. I could see it, dude. I totally believe in aliens. I do too. I believe there's something. I think that, like, we're aliens. Well, that's what I'm weird saying, enough to dude. say because I don't know. It's you know, hard and to the say. thing is, is like, like, why? If there are aliens, do you really think that the aliens are concerned about us? Because aren't we technically aliens to the aliens? Yeah, because like, well, yeah. how would those aliens know about us? Well, I you just I mean? well, I think they communicate by telling us that hey, they've been here. Like, mm -hmm. this is stuff that we've done because we don't. Some of the stuff that's been built, we think, have been built by these people or whatever. Yeah. but maybe they've like set up timelines to like show how the Great Pyramids were made. Yeah, and like they said, it'd take sixteen years to make like the biggest Great Pyramid. Uh huh. And that's just like almost humanly impossible with like. The amount of bricks and how perfect the bricks are and, like, exactly yeah. how they're lined up to, like, exact north. They're, like, not even a sixteenth of an of inch them. off. Yeah, and they're, like, they're all perfectly set up to, like, be perfectly north and they're not even And there's, off, like, another place like, all. like, in the jungle or in places yeah. where there's, like, just, like, ancient ruins mm -hmm. of stuff or whatever. And they say they show up there a lot, too. It's I, places yeah. that they kind of just are saying, like, hey... Like, we've been here, we've done this. Like, yeah. we still, I mean, we kind of communicating that they've been here or, like, or either that this is kind of still there. Like, I don't know. Or but, this is going to be where they're going to take over. Yeah, or whatever. But, I mean, that's just, there has to be something. But, I mean, like, wouldn't it be wild if something happened in our lifetime? Oh, that's what crazy. I'm nuts. That's what I'm saying. They're gonna wait until we're so technologically advanced, dude. That's uh, it's hard because you you just don't I know just about hate making TV enemies fuckers. with people around the world. And I feel like I wish we could all just be friends yeah, because it's gonna like, have to be the world against the aliens. Well, yeah. Could you imagine that fucking USA versus Russians and aliens yeah. <laughs> or North <laughs> Korea? We're all gonna have to join together, That's and then, and then we're gonna and it. we're gonna somehow freaking beat the aliens, and then we're gonna watch a Netflix documentary about that. <laughs> <laughs> our ants, our our kids' ancestors just freaking that'll mowing be, down aliens. That'll be that'll be in our history books. Mm -hmm. there wow. If there will even be history books, we're yeah. just gonna get freaking demolished. Yeah, it's just going to be game over. Yeah. No more humans. But, I mean, that's just the shit you got to expect when it comes yeah. down to it. I mean, you look at, like, back in the day, like, all that wild shit that happened that you're just thinking, Jesus, how was that even a thing? Like, slavery? Can you yeah, believe that's that that's absolutely shit? wild to think about. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Can you fucking But it's always been that? a thing. It's like, it hasn't always just been African Americans or Africans that were always slaves. It's always been, like, just lower class people i know but dude so that's like insane irish people were oftentimes yeah. slaves you know they kept everyone as slaves i feel like there's always been you've always people have always been enslaved oh yeah i mean we were enslaved to the british yeah when we came over here mm -hmm. i mean we broke free of that so i mean it's like everybody had the timeline that's what it is unfortunately i mean there's just so much like i just can't believe that was a real thing you know like yeah. And that's, and I just wonder, like, in a hundred years, like, what they're going to see. Are we going to bring it back? What this is going to be. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most Theo Vaughn fucking answer I've ever heard in my life. The boy's been watching this past weekend. But, no, I think, I don't know, if something crazy like that happened. Because, I mean, like, 9-11 and the school shootings, man, that's always going to be, like. Well, 
I think mass it's, shootings in general. I think yeah. it's I think it's so bad too because some people do have mental disorders. Yeah. And I think it's bad because on top of this, you don't some of them you don't see, and it's just kind of like once it hits as like a publicity thing, like mm-hmm. once it gets all this news coverage, like all these other kids that might have a mental disorder or are hiding it mm-hmm. from their family, they're just gonna think about doing that because it's just yeah. so they can be seen. It's just crazy how much things have changed in the last like 30, 40 years. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. To it, no school shootings, to people just shooting up schools every week. It's, yeah. it's weird when you're yeah. living in it. Cause yeah. Because like, because when you look back at like old stuff, like before you were around, obviously, and you look at like the invention of just like home phones and like when the mm-hmm. first TV came out and we don't even know a world where there's no TV. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's insane. I mean, like... Just when our parents were kids, you yeah. know, they didn't have phones. They they had three channels on TV. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and my mom, she, she was with four brothers. Yeah. And my grandma took care of all of them mm-hmm. at home. And, I mean, it was, you get what you get. I mean, we're eating this, and if you don't like it, tough crap. That's mm-hmm. what you're eating. You ain't getting nothing else. Yeah, it's crazy. My mom, she grew up with, like, six or seven older brothers. She was the youngest, and she mm-hmm. was the only girl... And she also lived in the same house as her grandma. And someone was being bad, like, she said they'd have to go pick out their own uh, whipping stick out from the woods. And they'd have to get whipped with it. See, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. In 2019, if you said you did that on Twitter, oh my god. You'd get arrested. You're getting arrested, bro. Like, that's how how much that world is changing. my, My mom was also the only girl. Mm -hmm. Two brothers, though, not as many brothers as as that. That's crazy. And you know what's crazy about my mom is is that she's a redhead, and, like, my kids might be ginger. Like, that's just... That's a possibility. My whole life has been foreshadowing it. Like, my first best friend has a whole ginger family. (laughs) If I have have a kid, it'll probably be ginger. Yeah, Because that's just what has been in line. Yeah, I mean, it skips a generation. I mean, my 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 cousins that are the kids to my uncle all have redheaded kids, but they weren't redheaded. Yeah. So, I mean, like... It's just around it. Shooting out a redhead. Yeah. I'm gonna, who's the most successful redhead of all time? I have no idea. JFK. Was he a redhead? What? Yeah. Was he really? And he was the only Catholic uh, president. Well, my kid's gonna be the next JFK. <laughs> I was gonna say my kid's gonna be the next Seamus, the best, uh, the best quarterback since Andy Dalton. To have Andy red Dalton hair. Sucks. Dude, that's what I'm saying. The bar's low. Let's start slinging was it. Johnny Unitas, <laughs> was Johnny Unitas? Was Johnny Unitas red yeah. ever? Was he uh, blondie or what? Dude, Johnny that's what's so bad. Huh? Pure drip. I don't know. What <laughs> Dude, that's what's bad. You never know what those guys. Dude, you never see color picture of those guys. It's always black and white. It's crazy that the first NFL game like ever played was in 1922. Like that's yeah. Could you imagine like football in 1922? That's crazy More too. More like rugby. And it's like we don't even know all those guys what the numbers they might have put up in their years. Oh no, football. yeah. They could have been dominant players. There could have been some dude. It could have been like eight man then. football, you know, and just people putting up 400 rushing yards, and that's just like not even a school record. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know what I always thought would be cool, but wouldn't ever get like funding or anything like that. Huh? If there's like a like a fifty states football league where either like semi pro football players play or like high school kids like like the, this yeah. is JUCO basically. You get paid. Mm-hmm. It's like a fucking minor league system like baseball. It's like fifty states football, and you got to go represent your state and play football against like all the fifty states. That'd be cool. And all it is is one big tournament. That's the only thing you play is one big tournament. Against all the 50 states. I like it, dude. 50 C it takes on the one. Well, you have to have like a small sample size, so it'll probably be like a 14 game. Ah, man, that's a lot of games, though. I feel like because because no. because everybody no. has to everybody no, has to every, just do a straight up tournament at the end of like high school football season. Everybody would have to not even after high school football season, just like players that could, from former high school dude. that could try out for our, just to be yeah. on the team. I like, just the, because, I like the tournament idea. Well, well because some try, players don't, like holding open tryouts. Yeah, like, some players wherever. don't even get a chance after high school. Yeah, that's you know true. what I mean? So those players should get the opportunity somewhere else. That would be a good, a good minor league idea. Mm-hmm. 
That's they, not a bad idea. But you just got to... That's basically City League, but yeah. nationwide. Yeah, yeah. But it'd be fun. I think it'd be I think it'd be entertaining. I think a lot of people would watch because I think everybody mm-hmm. would, it'd be kind of it would almost be like kind of like a soccer field. Yeah. Like you know, because you represent your whole ass fucking state. Like, well, yeah, is, and it would be former state. players of high school. And, and I think knows, you should you should you have shine out and you something should, happens. Yeah. You never so know. My grand scheme because I've thought about this. I've mm-hmm. freaking my grand scheme is is that for the first four or five years of the league's existence, you have to play for the state that you're from. But then after that, you can be a free agent and go wherever you want. And know, that's I, that's when you start yeah. building the market size. Hmm. Interesting. It really is. Makes you think. Well, because, I mean, Idaho wouldn't stand a chance ever. In some states, I feel like. I feel I like we, if, if it's like almost like out of high school, I still feel like anything could happen. I think we could get it done. I feel like, I mean, like on ESPN. We had it'd Buck have, it'd Osweiler. Be, it'd be on ESPN 3. That's for the sure. Ocho. Yeah, the Ocho. <laughs> the Ocho. Shout out to the Ocho, dude. Putting on, uh, yeah. they did that whole thing during the summer with like the cornhole tournament. They had an electrician's tournament. Like yeah, they dude. just had some weird stuff. That head ping pong game. They're just, yeah. They're out there grinding. Just yeah. Showing regular ass people doing regular ass things. Uh-huh. Competitively. But that's. I like it. I think. Yeah, because you'd have to have some sort of regular season in that aspect. Mm-hmm. You'd have to, like... But the thing is, you'd have to play a good amount of games because it's, like... It's like you can't play so many games of football. That's what I'm saying. Because I'm thinking, like, you have, like, a 10-game regular season and you only play the teams that are in your region. And yeah. from those 10 Northwest. games... From those 10 games, that's how you get seeded. Mm-hmm. You could play, like, the the coast. Yeah. And then... Like, Idaho would never Mount play Mountain Valley, Vermont. maybe. Yeah. Maybe like, Mount... Yeah. Montana and around here. Yeah, they would probably play like Montana, Washington, Oregon, Utah, Arizona, or maybe no. Not I Arizona. do not like our chances against any of those states. Really? Really? Yeah. Maybe not Montana, but I think, I think we the, got or Washington. Probably not or Washington. Oregon. Probably Oregon though. Nah, not Oregon. I think we can get all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying out? I'm Are you trying, trying out, out dude? dude? If I, I swear time, to God, if I pitch this idea me. and it works, I'm gonna be the head coach. It's you yeah, be the commissioner. No, yeah. uh, <laughs> okay, Trevor, if you're the head coach, I'm receiver. <laughs> <laughs> you throw me the ball every. No, and you gotta get a you gotta get a QB to dial up some plays for me. So Dreeb, you, you know you know you know my playbook. Dude, we're calling Matt Lenahan. Yes. yes, dude, we're calling him up. He's gonna be the quarterback. I Good. like it. Kellen, Mo- to... Kellen Moore would have to leave the NFL to be the head coach. No, no, <laughs> no, just, no, no. Would... the head coach. No, he's got too good of a gig. Man. No, I'd be, the, I'd be the GM. He'll be a head coach in the next five years, will... I think. He will be. Dude, I mean, that's the Jags are talking about getting a new head coach, maybe. I, mean, I hope we knows? get a new defensive coordinator next year. Dude, there just isn't really any on the market. I hate Vance thing. Jones. I so hate Todd Tony Walsh. Romo should be a defensive yes, coordinator. Yes, he should because he knows what he's doing. Yeah. I really do think so because he knows what the play is before the play even happens. Yeah. You could have that dialed he's into your mid. You could have he's that, straight raw, bro. He could be up in the booth yeah. still because you can do that as a coach. Mm-hmm. And he could look down and he could say, okay, they're running. To it's the a the run to the yeah, right. It's a run to the left. They're, it's the ISO play. Yeah. And the middle linebacker would literally just go right there. On audible. It's yeah. We Dude, know I think low down. key, Tony Romo at the end of the day might have the most awesome football story of all time. Like, I mean, this guy can literally go from being a undrafted free agent and doing what he did in his football career, which was like semi mediocre, to being like one of the. I kind of gr- liked him. One the of the whole time though. One of the greatest announcers of all time, and then if he like ends up going to coach and he like wins like a Super Bowl or something like that's a Hall of Fame fucking career right there like oh yeah fuck and I, can... know, I like Kurt Warner's story bagging groceries at a I supermarket really and then uh, being undrafted and then winning Super Bowls and then yeah. playing in another that's like yeah I like Gardner's story too fucking Gardner Mississippi. and I love how Brady's already like embraced that he could be the next Has he? I wish our team yeah, could yeah Brady said it Really? Yeah, Brady said he's the next Brady. And yep. I think Foles needs to just get the hell out of the way. It's yeah. time. Minshew is a, the man. Well, did uh, The swagger of that team has fell. You guys lost by a lot. And when he was playing, you guys were competitive.
competitive. Yeah, did you see his his uh, his do up going on the plane? His, yeah, his dude. throwback uh, jean flannel, denim, denim, denim jacket, dude. dude. That's awesome. It's that was so raw. dope. Cowboy hat. He just pulls it off. Dude, I guarantee you he gets some of that shit from his dad. Speaking oh, of yeah. speaking of that, speaking I, of drip. Uh, yeah, dude, I got a story for you. <laughs> All right, dude. So okay, homeboy. That kicked us out of the fantasy football chat. Yeah. Not the one you argued with, but the one okay. that kicked us. Yeah. Hits me up. Yeah. Just, hey, Trib. Hey. I got a, I got, I got a surprise for you. I'm like, all right. You're like, I like surprises. And he's like, I got a throwback Jaguars leather jacket. And I'm just like, okay. no, you don't. Send pics. And he's like, send pics. Send a video or it's not real. And he, and he sent a pic and it was this picture right here. And it f- fucking slaps, dude. Like, it was good. And then I was like, where, where did you even get that? And he's like, oh, my grandpa found it on a yard, at a yard sale or whatever. It was 50 cents. And I was like, okay, yeah. I mean, like, fuck, we didn't charge me five bucks, ten bucks. I was like, all right, how much you want? 60 bucks. Jesus I'm like, Christ. <laughs> blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you think you think I'm willing to pay the for, ads for that? You much? said you got it for fifty. You got it for free. Your yeah. grandpa paid fifty cents for it. You and should just you, give it to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why didn't your grandpa just give it to me? No, <laughs> no I'm just no, kidding. No, the, but no, like the fifty cents is you got it for fifty cents. You should just let Trim have it for like like five bucks. Like, yeah, I'd give him five know, bucks. You know, I'd, yeah, five I'd, ten. I'd Venmo him five, five bucks for that. Trim, you, I don't think you could pull off a leather jacket though. I just wanted to have. It. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. Like five ten bucks because. He's not a Jags fan. He's not gonna wear that. Yeah, and I'm not gonna wear it either. No, so one's I ain't gonna gonna buy, pay... no one's gonna buy it for sixty bucks. I don't think. Not um, around here. I ain't gonna pay sixty bucks for that simply because. Maybe if you put. I would never wear it. I just would want it. it to have it. Yeah. You know, like. I was thinking I'm Jags gonna buy a, a denim jacket just to look cool. I think you'd pull it off. I think I, I could do. too. Yeah, but I you'd think... have to have a cigarette in your mouth every day. Or just in my ear, and yeah. I'd probably have to have a mullet or something. Yeah. One of those like leather kind of cowboy hats that'll be perfect for wrestling season just roll up in the freaking with, the with your cowboy boots on and then I'm saying, <laughs> that would I'm be saying, dope yee, motherfuckers, drop go. if we get uh 50 likes on this video i'm gonna get 50. on on this podcast i'll get a get myself a jean jacket Dude, you just want to get a jean jacket. I do. Why don't you you think you it? can get 50 likes? No. I think I can get three. <laughs> <laughs> this gets four likes. Gold, gold will get All right. A dead 12 jacket. likes. <laughs> 12 likes. I know you just want one. I do want so one. Let's, let's send it. Okay, back. if anyone's listening out there, we're going to get a jean jacket. <laughs> if you made it this far. <laughs> if you get four likes, Cole, just get the jean jacket. <laughs> Dude, just get one at Goodwill. I guarantee you get some shit that's... Oh, that drips. Pure drip. Dude, you know who pulls off a good jean jacket? Who? Riley. Dude, Riley, I saw him last time I went to Goodwill. Yeah, dude, was... I seen him last time I went to Goodwill, too. But I feel like... Yeah. He, but I feel like he always has, he always has a good mullet, too. He's always, he does. He's, he's, had, good. he's had one since the 10th that's grade. Saying, he looks great. He's saying. one of the nicest people I've ever fucking oh, met. Oh, dude, he is. But, no, that's what I'm saying. It would look fucking perfect if a denim jacket with... A mullet, but you have to have the mullet because it goes good with the. I don't think you know. I don't think I can pull off a mullet. Maybe like a little mullet like Theo Vaughn has, but Theo Vaughn's mullet's straight filled. It is filled, but like people that go out all out, like Riley, he has an all out mullet. Oh yeah, Mate. he has a grown. Dude, did you know uh, Mateo officiated his wedding? Yeah, I didn't even know that until I saw his profile picture. I thought that that shit cracked me up. That's fucking awesome, dude. That is amazing. I wonder if they go back. Can't wait to fucking do my wedding. It's gonna be fun. Mike better get on it. Yeah, it'd be wild. I just I just don't want no rando doing it, you know. You want a subscriber doing it. Yeah, I mean I We're think doing a giveaway. <laughs> giveaway time. The first comment on this video. <laughs> <laughs> if you've listened this far, yeah. If you can officiate Tree's wedding. After all the shit that has been done and said, they're probably are this far because they were probably lured in by the KWF and just hoping that the, the KWF was like the whole podcast. <laughs> They're like, where do we buy tickets? Yeah. We need KWF t-shirts, dude. We need to start merchandise. We might as well just start a whole thing again, but yeah. just call it someone, something else because we're not like we technically need, we need kids anymore. We need to fucking anymore. find some people that know how to do that shit real good. Yeah. 
So hit us up. Dude, I'm trying to... I think I'm going to pay somebody off of Fiverr to make a new crew cast, like, logo. Yeah? Like, like to have, like... I think me, you, Bryce, and Cam mm -hmm. would be... F Might and, as well. And, okay, so I'm thinking, here's my, here's my fucking... Here's my fucking vision, boys. Okay. So it's going to... It's, it's not going to look like this. Like, we're going to be a in a round table and fucking have, like, mics and shit. Mm -hmm. I'll be at the table. You'll be at the table. Cameron and Bryce will be at the table, and then Barn's going to be in the booth. Yeah. It's Barnhouse production. Yeah, and every time he's got rest. something to say, we can pan it over to him. Yeah. I like it. But that's, like, my t-shirt idea, too. Like oh, yeah. Well, that's, like, my logo idea for, like, yeah, the crew cast. I like it. Dude. I would love to do that. I'm just trying There's to There's some office spaces for rent in Town Hall, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's just right down the way from where I work, bro. I'd be like... It's just right down the way for anyone that lives here. <laughs> yeah, for real. For real, dude. We're just, I'm just trying to... We're just spitballing ideas. I mean, at this point... Mm -hmm. I mean, at this point, like you basically get the you basically get the whole grand scheme of crew the crew fucking cast. Like if you listen to the whole crew cast, you get the whole scheme of what twenty twenty oh, is yeah. gonna be. Basically, we got some ideas. We got there's a vision. There's a vision. In we place. dream about it, dude. I'm just saying, like we talked about the crew Olympics like really early on. Like that's something we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I am like I I've been having like a lot of thoughts about it. Yeah, like I've been thinking like I have some ideas. Like and I want to. I want it to be like a three month like I wanna, filming I wanna editing. I want to have a fishing derby. We might as well. Do I mean, it. it'll be in the summertime. I want to have a fishing derby. So okay, yeah. We, we so here's what we're gonna do too. If you're listening this far, um, fly to Idaho <laughs> and spectate the Crew Olympics yeah. for free. <laughs> Seriously, literally. For free. And we'll let you meet us. <laughs> for free. For free, dude. And you get to spectate. The whole, the whole yeah. day. Yeah, for the real. Whole I'll day. pay for a dinner. The whole day. Yeah. The whole crew. You can the buy whole tickets, dog. Tyler, you'll everybody. Get, you'll get pictures. You'll get yeah. everything. You'll get the whole experience, dog. Oh, you'll be getting, but you got to pay for yourself to get here. Bro. <laughs> yeah, but you'll be here, bro. We're going to have spectators. going to be open to fishing event. I'm trying to make well, it. Well, it's a three-month thing. They ain't going to be here for three months. No, no, dude. They'll just be there when we're recording. No, we'll, we'll record it for like a week. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll wait a while yeah. before we drop it all. Because we want to do like commentary. We want to do everything we can do. Yeah, and I'm thinking we got we got one commentator locked down for sure. That's my dog, Hunter. Yeah. We got, we got Hunter on the mic. Good. We got him I for like sure. that. I think he should be the guy. Yeah, he's, he's going to be. That's He's the main play-by-play -play guy for everything. And and I think yeah. I think one I think it it might be a stretch, but I, if we do a Madden tournament, I think maybe throw Trey in the booth with Hunter. I think Hunter. Yeah, I feel I like I feel like Hunter will be like the main guy, but then yeah. Uh, yeah. then like each event, we'll, we could have somebody different come in. Some dude. Yeah. Well, like I mean, for like the because we should do some running events. Yeah, like it'll the, be fucking hilarious watching Hulch. us run. Doing during the running Me events. Yeah, four thirty. We are gonna start running. Yeah, <laughs> dude. We need to. Because True. we got to get ready for the crew Olympics. During the running events, we're going to have a literal NAIA national cross country runner on the mics, hopefully. Well, he'll be on the mics, not he'll, yeah. he won't be competing. No, of course no. not. No. He, he, might no. Be, he might be competing because. He's sandbagging. I think, no, he might be competing because I think I can outrun the motherfucker if I get con conditioned. You think so? I think I could. I that would be, that'll be a I, special I, race. I think he could do it in like a. Like a Short term, he because he's a long distance. No, runner. I'm saying, if I can get conditioned, you think it's between over between then, between here and then. Yeah, I think I could do it. All right, do it then. I think I could beat Lage. I mean, that's that's the goal. That'll be a special race after the actual events are on. I think we should do the races by weight class. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll still outrun your ass. <laughs> I just want. I just. I just need to beat Mike in the running events. I won't have anyone to compete <laughs> Mike, with other than Lay. Dude, you know who's Loki's speedy and might like blow us away Barn. if he comes. Ty. Ty. If Ty comes, he dude, used to be a speedy man. <laughs> dude, he's. Dude, he yeah. had such short legs, but he. But I so mean, he's been fast. doing a lot of hard work, so yeah, I can see him outrunning all of you. I can. I can see him asleep by seven thirty. <laughs> yeah.
He's gonna be me here, me here in a few minutes. Did he? Yeah. It's about seven thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go home and drink some Keystone Ices, not sponsored. And just go to fucking bed. But if you want to sponsor us, you always can sponsor us. We literally need some sponsors, guys. Especially for we the don't know Olympics. how long we can keep doing crew cast without sponsors. <laughs> yeah, dude, for real. <laughs> We're losing money, guys. Nay. Nay. But fuck. Once we start doing the shit. Fucking, yeah. dude, just, just fucking, just be there, you know, watch the Crew Olympics. It'll be awesome. The promotion will start. We should definitely have some more We'll have some pro footage. Files. We should have some more subs. We'll have some, we'll do a... So we'll I have a, a new cu- idea. I'm going to start playing people in Madden. Yeah, and if it. they have them... Yeah, if, play if they, subscribers in Madden. No, and if they have people, if they have mics... I'm going to tell them to subscribe to Dream Talks. Well, that's, good a, idea. To watch, that's a good idea. To watch the weekly picks. Yeah, or just watch any because of the content. Because you know what? Right? We always talk about each team in the weekly picks. And it, even if you're not a Jags fan, maybe mm. you're... And if you want to talk, look at some of the other things that we talk about in CrewCast, then there you go. Yeah, I mean, just... Because you're running to everybody up, man. If they have mics, then let them hear it. Just give them, just give them the beans. Subscribe to Trade Talks. Yeah. Give them the chance. It's almost that's it's, how you can build it too. So you know, everybody, I can do some little endorsements in there, and tri- and you know, Barnes always doing his work on. He always online, does. so you know, we try. Yeah, at this point, it's just a grind. But I'm thinking, uh, the Crew Olympics, we're all gonna have a coach. Yeah, and I've been, I've also been putting in a lot of. Thought I had thought about coach. it, and I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I know who I'm going to take. Who are you think, taking? Um, if he doesn't want to compete, I'm going to choose uh, Dakota. That's a good choice. It he'd just makes sense. He'd be a great coach. I have, I have a lot of options. I really don't know who my final is going to be. I'm thinking Keystone. <laughs> I like it. I'm th- Put the Duval jersey on it. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking Keystone. Keystone, or it's... Dakota or Ween for That's, me. That's really. that way mine would be Keystone or Big Ween because I, I think Big Ween would be a great competitor. I asked him today if he had any footage of him eating the Effie Burger in high school, just so I could we could have like an example. And like I just I want it and, and like I had a whole vision of like that whole video because he ate it in two minutes and thirty one seconds. Oh, <laughs> so we need to do it. Dude, in a two minute and thirty one second time limit. Dude, so Maybe that's impressive. If you guys don't know what the Effie Burger is, it's one of the more famous burgers in Idaho. Yeah. And it's like a 12, 13 inch burger. burger yeah. Piled high with leans, beans, greens, beans, tomato, tomatoes, ham, tomatoes. lamb. Has the works on it. Yeah. Troops getting down <laughs> yeah, over dude, here yeah. in the studio. And you know. yeah. Maybe we could just give him another Effie Burger and get and just that's uh, what, shoot it in black and white. <laughs> dude, dude, that's what I was thinking because like, uh, just the, the pure, and like I just want Hunter to just like go off during that replay. Like, yeah. Look at that form, the mouth wide open as he eats that last not even of burger. S- not even <laughs> swallowing, just straight inhaling. <laughs> dude, I, I can't wait. I know Hunter. Hunter's gonna do a good job on the mic. I hope Hunter listens. Oh yeah, by the way, I got I, I found that fucking mic the other day. Oh yeah, it's a I nice think, little mic that you can put on the collar of your shirt. Yeah, because I found it uh I think I'm gonna have my Uncle John be my coach. <laughs> oh goodness, Uncle John. Yeah, because I think he would be, you know, very loud and very, you know, like yeah. come on you pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Like, just getting after We gotta throw him out. Yeah. At least one. Yeah, yeah. Brick's gonna officiate the pitch up, so I mean. Yeah. So, so you know what I mean? So, like, I think he would be the over the top that I need to push. Yeah. So, I'm thinking about Liam. I think he would be a good character. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. For character development. That's what I'm saying, because we need more character fucking development, Uh bro. Good old Fooky Bookie. That's, That's the thing right now, is like. There's so many crew members that haven't really, like, hopped on the stick. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, like, we're going to have to build some characters. Like, Mike is going to be the craziest character to build. <laughs> like, up Mike. to, like, Josh. Josh is going to be a mm-hmm. good one. Like, Josh needs to do our Monday Or Terj. Or Terj. Or Terj is going to be. Josh oh. needs, we need to have Josh do a Monday night jingle Sunday. every week. No, Monday. Your Sunday night. Oh. He'd be a Monday I thought night. we were going to do, like, the whole, like, intro kind of thing. No. We should. Once it's a big production, we could just choose our games and just upload it instead of going live. Yeah. Or we can still go live. Why not? Yeah, I'll figure out a way to 
make it good mm-hmm. both ways. But I mean, I just I think that's what it comes down to to who you choose as your coach because we got to see who the competitors are. Yeah. Like, you know, we may be in November and the games might not be until, like, June, but, like, you know, it's time to start thinking. It is. You know, because we got we to get in contact with Ty. That's probably, like, the first thing we got to do. Yeah, because yeah, we got to get him down here. So, Ty, if you're listening. And if we, we have to get him here for the week that we are filming. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, like... Hard because he's always working. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, officially, I know we got Fitz, we got Cold, we got me... Barn. Barn. We got the crew. Arturo. Yeah, Arturo. Jameson. Jameson's Mike. gonna have to take like a week off. <laughs> Dude. You can do it. Dude, Jameson's gonna have to take a week off, but knowing Jameson, he'd say he did it and then not do it. No, he could do it if he did it right now. If he told him like soon. Yeah. Yeah. He could do it in June. Yeah, because I, I have like, I think we should do post-game interviews too. Mm-hmm. Like fucking... Uh, but we need somebody to do the post game interviews because we need to have like a big old party after every fucking like yeah. thing. So like we're all part, and I think we should. I think the best place to do that would be at Mike's mom's house. Yeah, she's got the dope she's lights. Nice backyard. Yeah, dude, dope lights. She would uh, let us. I'm trying to think who a good interviewer would be. Like on field. Yeah, oh. on, on field and like doing like the like when we're all partying, like being like, Fitz, you did really terrible in the 100. Tell us more about it. You know, like that. Well, I pulled my hammy. <laughs> and on, on field, too. I like that. Yeah. Like, after it's like, we're like doing the, disc golf. I, I, like, honestly oh think, I honestly think the, like, post game, like, when we're all, like, together. Yeah. Like, like the like we'll, like we'll probably upload them as individual videos. I think mm-hmm. Amber would be a perfect prospect for that. Oh, dude, video. I like that. We can get Amber. her in a suit and tie and stuff. Yeah. Like or just, Bailey. Dude, Bailey I think Bailey do should it. do the post field. Cause she'd give so much sass. Dude, yeah. Because she'd just be like savage. Bryce, just, like, why did you suck so fucking bad in that one hundred? But I also feel like she 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 I feel like she'd put on a face for the fucking show. Oh, though. she yeah. would. She'd oh, fucking yeah. back up straight. Just do I it. like Amber in the post game just yeah. afterwards. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'll get her. Oh, why are you drinking so heavily tonight? <laughs> you gotta compete tomorrow. <laughs> Cold, you just ate a whole Effie burger and chugged a 40. How are you still alive? Yeah. <laughs> I have work at 6 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Cold, the fishing derby is tomorrow. What do you mean? Uh, Cold, you I'm waiting up right <laughs> early. <laughs> Cold, you gotta drive for Orfito at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> I could have another 40. Uh, we should only drink 40s for that, too. I need to get some. <laughs> yeah, I need some water. <laughs> we got to think, too, like, who would, who a good number two announcer would be. Because we got, we got Hunter for the play-by-play. We need, like, a color guy. Color commentator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it out. If Weem's not a coach for one of us, maybe I him. know. No, 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 big, big Weem cannot handle a hot mic. <laughs> you don't think so? No. no. Really? What about? Well, Chief? I guess we are doing like the commentary after the fact. Yeah. What, a, what about Chief Nation? Fuck that even more. Chief can't even read. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you four hundred seventy-five thousand dollars if you can read one page of the Harry Potter book. <laughs> Maybe Dream. Dream. Dream would just go yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd say something, he'd be like, you just pulled that out of your ass, didn't you, bud? <laughs> you go, yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was, like, simultaneous. Cheeks, you guys owe me both a soda. <laughs> <laughs> you almost a had soda. a fucking seizure right there, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> but we got, we got big plans for this Crew Olympics, and hopefully that, that'll just, like, be on the front page of YouTube. Maybe, like, number one trending. Well, because we gotta get some dope thumbnails made, oh, too. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah. That's what it comes down to. We gotta have Weem shirtless in every single one. <laughs> Dude, Weem shirtless is the worst thing you could ever see. We gotta censor his nipples. <laughs> you know? Like, if it's have him with the sh- shirt off. Like, like sh- play by, no. or like on field. <laughs> you should have a or... bikini top over his nipples. Dude, he already told me he'd be a spectator, and then I told him about the coaching thing, and he's like, he'd, he'd do that too. Yeah. He'd also, he also said he we could record a meeting in Effie Burger. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> is that the number one thing you'd be like? Man, can we record you eating? No, can we? Dude, I literally hit him up out of the blue and said, can you hit me up with the film of you in <laughs> high school while you ate the Effie burger? Dude, I think he should be a part of the competition so we can see if we anybody can beat him. 
Oh, and like the beer chugging, he would obviously take. It's the crew Olympics, no. not the squad Olympics. No, I'm talking just in the FE Burger contest. I think he should ref it. Or yeah. I think he should be in the booth for that one. At, yeah. at least refing her in the booth or something. He'll yeah. be in the booth for we the have to, Okay, yeah. We have and to you have... gotta tell him that he can't be hot on the mic. And all he's gotta talk about is how poor or good somebody's eating. Oh, look at how he's going up. <laughs> he's chewing too much. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta swallow. Yep. I'm telling you, too, commentary is gonna take the longest part. So, like, you gotta yeah. try it and yeah. get it down, like, in. Yeah, because we takes. can't, well, there ain't no takes, because we ain't eating two Effie burgers. No, we're, just for we're commentary. yeah, commentary, yeah, we're, we're recording commentary after everything's over. Okay. Like, the whole editing process is going to be a whole ass month, mm -hmm. like, okay. after the, after these. We'll be working day in, day out. Just but really it's worth it. Getting at it. I mean, I think if nothing else, it'd be great for us to have, you know? Oh, like, yeah. I think, I think like. If we, I feel like if we just put something together that I'm proud of, then it's gonna be a. Oh yeah, it's gonna be one hundred percent. It's gonna be a good production. All right, guys. I think I think that's gonna wrap up the crew cast today, ladies and gentlemen. I think we went over an hour, but if you guys did stick around this long, we appreciate you. Uh, make sure you drop down below um, some crew cast merch ideas. Drop down below what crew Olympics event you'd like to see just to see if anybody actually listens to this all the way i bet you patrick jackson did because he's a real one but if you haven't already you can check all links down below on face uh, you can god that's the first time i've ever fucked that up yeah guess what because i fucked up earlier so <laughs> it's a chain reaction now uh, cold watch out <laughs> you can check all links down below you can like me on facebook at dream talks follow me on twitter at dream talks follow me on instagram at trey von pixley and hit that subscribe button click the bell icon fits you got any part in words uh, we'll see you next week, because I always enjoy doing this. Talking with the boys. Cold, what do you got? Right. Have a good rest of your day, everybody. And it's the greatest day of his life. <laughs> True.